So I went grocery shopping, I bought some roses, cheese, some cured meat, olives, and as well as croissants and watermelon, blueberries, and grapes, strawberries, potato salad, and also some crackers so any cracker will do so i'm going to show you guys in this video how to prep them and this is a wine cooler bag and basically this is really good for maintaining your um, chilled wine so it doesn't get hot and this is my picnic basket i absolutely love it best money i spent on amazon i'm gonna link it down below so don't even worry about it so i'm gonna show you guys the insides and these are like it comes with a set is a picnic basket for four people it comes with spoons knives you name it and wine glasses as well like little mini wine glasses and in there I have my cheese board that i bought separately for my cheese boards and this is just um some disposable cutleries from the last picnic that i hosted back to it this is how and when i bought the basket because i know a lot of you guys would want to know where i got the basket from so i ordered it from amazon and it's from this brand called picnic time so let's unbox it together so i, I ordered it at end of may it came um pretty quickly so this is me unboxing it this was um in june actually so i was so excited and i also bought the wine cooler as well because this is really uh nice so you don't have to take ice which is a little bit messy for the park so you just chill your wine this is a three bottle cooler by the way so this is what the basket looks like and when i opened it can you guys see my face i was so excited so let's run through it so it comes with pepper shaker salt uh plates knives forks um as well as wine cork opener and in it these little compartment things wear uh wine glasses and what i loved about the basket is that it's actually not plastic so those are actual mini wine glasses and i like that was fabulous because i thought they were going to be little plastic looking ones so very much so worth the investment and this is the wine bag and this is a three bottle wine bag like i was saying so yeah that's pretty much it now let's go back into prepping for this picnic all right okay so first things first you want to prep your flowers before you prep any other things so your flower doesn't die on you now if you don't want to go to the park with a vase i understand so you can just take the flower as is but i'm going with a vase so i go ahead and i put the flower food i call it flower food guys don't judge me if it's not called that and you want to swirl that around in your water and basically i bought long stem roses and of course my vase is not long enough for it obviously so i cut through and i'm gonna go ahead and measure see it's too long so i basically what i always do because every time i've hosted my picnics i've always had flowers it just adds to the aesthetics and whatnot so i go ahead and i trim the roses so let go I know so what I like to do so when I'm trimming it let's say a petal falls off I like to add it into the water because it adds to the entire look like it's just giving me a rich beautiful look see just adding it right in there and I even went ahead and I plucked one more <laughs> so that everything could match you know so it's not like two pieces so I ended up having like around four or five pieces of petals in the water so the rose is all ready and we're going to go ahead and prep the rest of the stuff. So you want to cut up your cheeses, your fruits, if you want to cut them up, uh, wash the glasses um, in the basket, you know, just clean things, cut up your watermelon. So, yep, here you go. Everything has been prepped. So what I like to do, I'm going to show you guys how I pack my basket. So I basically slice my cheese, slice my watermelon, wash my grapes. You want to wash everything and everything is ready to be used. So those are my nuts for the cheese board. And this is the grape for the cheese board. And then I have my potato salad. So I basically scooped out some and the place of course because i like aesthetically pleasing picnics so this was meant to be plated so we're gonna go ahead and put in the washed plates back into the compartment all 
All right, first things first, I pack my cured meat at the bottom because it fits perfectly to one corner. Next, I took my watermelons and I packed them in a flat Tupperware. So anything flat so everything fits. Then I go ahead and I pack my croissants. I love these, like they're my favorite things. Like paired with my cheese board, you are like full. Anyway, I go ahead and I put my olives in the middle. And next, I put the potato salad. And you want to do a close test so you don't end up stuffing your basket to the point where you can't close it. So I did a quick close test. Everything was great. And I put my fruits in there. And don't squish your grapes or your uh, blueberries. I advise putting the blueberries in a Tupperware instead of a Ziploc so it doesn't smash on your way to the park. I put in my crackers, my strawberries my cut up cheese so literally everything is set and just ready to be prepped and set up when we get to the park and these are little bowls that i'm going to use for my cheese board for my nuts and olives so i put it in there as well and my cheese board i place right on top again i did a close test to make sure that it fits um if it didn't fit i would have just put it in my second basket but it fits perfectly and i go ahead and i close it so for this basket i really really like it what i would recommend is if you're going to stuff it with food like i just did don't carry it by the handle a lot so you don't actually tug on the handle too much because as you guys can see, my handle is a little wobbly because I've had numerous picnics with this basket. But overall, it's so worth it. And I put my wine cooler on the side. Okay, so for the second basket, I put the sheets in there and the plates. So the plates are optional for you if you want to eat out of your Tupperware by all means. But I think this adds to the aesthetics. So I go in and I put the glasses in there. So those four glasses that came with the basket, I don't put it in the basket because that just takes up space that I could use to actually pack food. So I put my glasses cleaned and dried in the basket, in my second basket. And of course, these are little mini uh glasses i just wanted to show you guys but i also packed my two wine glasses you know for my date night and it's much bigger and of course more drinks and i got those from the bay i think it's been a long time i don't really remember so the basket is fully packed and this is just me showing you guys the three bottle wine cooler so this is really good even if you just want to go to the park and just have some drinks and not a picnic this is such an, a great investment so anyway I put that in the basket and pretty much everything is packed and ready to go. We're going to head to the park to have a good time. So let go. All right. So we're at the park. I am so excited for the spread, y'all. Like first things first, spread your sheet. I like to use a white linen sheet. It doesn't really matter. You can use whatever you want. I've hosted picnics in the past where I used a picnic blankie that was like colorful. If you guys haven't seen that, check out my Instagram. There's a photo there. Anyway, place the flower on the center and then angle your baskets in a way that is aesthetically pleasing. And I went ahead and I brought out the glasses and the plates and I set it up and now we're going to move on to bringing out the food. So first things first, bring out your cheese board, of course, your potato salad, your fruits and all that good stuff and it's good to wash the plates of course so i'm gonna bring out one and i'm gonna place the strawberries in one of them because it gives it more color instead of being on the cheese board because it's more likely to get like squishy you know what i mean so i set that aside and next thing we're going to do is bring out more food of course <laughs> and then we're gonna set up the croissant in one of the flat plates so the more plating that you have spread out on your sheet the more aesthetically pleasing it looks i've had a fuller mat before this was just for me and my boyfriend as well as for filming so it's a good amount of food for like four people of course eat some eat some watermelon you know set out the watermelon again in your flat plate and i like to cut it into a triangle for that aesthetic you know it's all about aesthetics you know enjoy your picnic but make it aesthetics gonna put some cashew nuts in one of the bowl for the cheese board so now we're setting up the cheese board we're gonna put out the grapes as well as the olives olives are my favorite thing if you don't like olives you can swap it for like cranberries so basically things to pair with with your cheese and your crackers 
So like you're not limited to olives. You can literally do walnuts, whatever you like, really and truly. I'm going to go ahead and do my cheese. And I like to use this marble cheese because it's just easy to navigate. Again, if you like soft cheese, there are like a thousand cheeses out there. So choose whatever you like. So I go ahead and I put my crackers. Again, place things using your creative direction just to make it look pretty. And then my cured meats. So these are like um, different kinds. I have salami in there and I have a uh, prosciutto and another one I can't remember right now so set up everything i like to roll it of course eat like come on we're about to eat so excuse me if i do if you know what i mean anyway i would like to roll up the cured meat and just pair it closer to the cracker and the cheese because it's easier to grab and for the bowls with the nuts and the olives i like to pair them at opposite ends if sometimes I have used three bowls essentially just doesn't really matter and then I sprinkle blueberries radically around the plate or board rather and it's pretty much done and my wine is ready I got a Chardonnay it tastes so good it's called OP or OPI I don't know but yeah let's enjoy our picnic y'all So I hope you enjoyed this picnic spread. So go out there, you beautiful black girl, and have yourself a luxurious picnic spread. And if you're in black, still go out there and have yourself an affordable, luxurious picnic spread. I had so much fun putting this out for you guys. I had so much fun showing you guys how to prep, what to include in your basket, and the park is chirping, people are playing, people are having a good time, and we are out here. So until next time, if you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Join the Love Them fam, okay? Until next time. Thank you so much for supporting me, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this picnic spread. Please go out there, host your picnic. Spread, so spread it out. <laughs> Let me just keep on looking. Let me do this again. <clears throat> <laughs>